So what's up guys? If it looks a little different, we are in my New York office. So let me tell you what happened to me today. So this is my office. I have a 24 inch monitor. I have a 38 inch monitor, kind of big, and a 24 inch monitor, but the base couldn't take it. So let's just say I got a mess over here. So I decided to use this Providence and to upgrade my monitor situation. So today we're going to unbox and review the Samsung CH90 Super Ultra Wide Gaming Monitor. Yes, Super Ultra Wide Gaming Monitor. That's coming up. What's up guys, this is Herbie from Herbie's World showing you that IT means I try. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. So on this channel, we do unboxings, desktop support, life hacks, actual hacking, and tech reviews of great products, especially like this one. So anything we discuss in the episode, you'll find right on the bottom right over here. So let's go check out the Samsung Super Ultra Wide Gaming Monitor. Okay, let me start off by showing you a comparison. So this is my 34 inch Biotech. It's actually, it's not a monitor, it's a 4K TV. But this behemoth right next to me is more than half my size. So if you take a look, this bad boy, it's crazy. So let's go unbox this puppy. Let's the unboxing again. So I bought this for 950 bucks. Now this is a gaming monitor. It's a 49 inch ultra wide. It's a super ultra wide monitor. Now, you can find this for 950, 850 sometimes. Now, let's talk some specs. This is running AMD FreeSync 2 with 144 hertz. It has a one millisecond time. and has a 3840 by 1080 aspect ratio. So, look at the base on this thing, okay? So let's put this here. Now, it's got a color calibration report from the factory that they do it automatically. Let's it out. This is the, for the back panel. Look how huge this thing is. This is with the base in the back. This is the stand. Now, what's cool about this stand is it has a headphone holder. You pop it down like so. So you can put it behind your monitor. Your headphone's right there. But the funny thing is, it's so huge. Are you gonna reach it? But I'll show you what I mean. Okay. So this is going to be power adapters. Let's take a quick look. This is the base, and we have all of the cable in. HDMI, we have DVI. So I'm gonna put this to the side. Okay, now that we got the other stuff, let's take out the big stuff. Jesus. Oh my God. You guys are not going to be this. Alright, let's take a look. Man. Okay, now. What do you guys think of this? This is huge, huge. Okay, so let's see. So the aspect ratio is 32 by 9. It's 
got quantum dot, it's HDR, and like I stated before, it's 144 hertz. This is supposed to be a really good gaming monitor, but it's great for productivity as well. Now, I I like multi monitored screen setups. It makes it easier. I can separate and dedicate screens, but the real estate on this is going to be perfect. So let's go put this box down, and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, we are all cabled up. And when you're putting it back, you just want to make sure you have enough slack right here. Nice, neat, flush. And just want to pull some extra slack. Nobody likes messy wires. Look at that. That is crazy. Now, size comparison. This is my 38. Look at it. It dwarfs it. It d completely dwarfs it. Ah, this is like Godzilla of monitors. So let's take a look and see how high it can go. So that's the lowest point. This is the lowest point, and it can go up about five inches. It's it's huge. Let's power it on for the first time. Wow! The resolution is three. 1840 by 8 by 1080 144 hertz current resolution is now 1680 by 1050 okay guys so this is what I would do right here so right here I have word I have chrome and I have uh, Yahoo the landscape is immense so multitasking is awesome you can do whatever you need to do and it's a beautiful landscape Okay guys, here is the finished product. So this thing is huge. But I didn't waste my other monitor. And I just popped it there. So that is my setup. Um, it took a while to get this done, but this monitor is monstrous and it's gonna make work productivity that much better. Uh, to be completely honest, I have to redo my cabling because um, I didn't like the way it was. I just took everything down just so you can get a full picture here and I'll be taking out what I don't need and putting together what I do. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Remember, IT means I try and this is a huge setup and you'll notice that it takes the whole the whole thing we did my whole desk if you take a look looks good i will catch you guys in the next one peace